Bridget. Always a pleasure. You still a lawyer, Frank? Yeah. Still a self-serving bitch. Friend needs advice. I'll set it up for you. Husband and wife do a one-time drug deal. The goal's a wholesome one. College fund for the kids. <laughs> no. The wife wants new digs. Comes off without a hitch. Only the wife decides that the new house would be happier without the husband. Sharing was never her specialty. She's anxious to start spending. Well, uh, it's just an opinion since you're not paying for it. But the husband is entitled to half of whatever you buy with that cash. In fact, as soon as you turn it into a legal asset like a condo or a house or a bank account, he can make a claim on it. What are you saying? My lips moving too fast for you? Not fast enough, as I recall. <laughs> no, no. Keep it in cash. He's not going to ask a judge for half of that unless he wants to spend 20 years in Attica with somebody's dick up his ass. <laughs> So what? Hold on to it for how long? Well, as long as it takes to uh, finalize the divorce. How long does that take? Uh, he'll fight it, maybe two years, less if you're lucky. Oh, Jesus, Frank. Well, I'm sorry the law doesn't make it more convenient for you to steal and deal drugs, Bridget. <sighs> okay, start the divorce. Well, that's going to cost you it's a lot of paperwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill in the blanks for me. I'm out of town. Where are you? <sighs> Maybury. I'm going to Chicago to see an old friend. Well, that is the first place Clay would expect you to go. Stay put. <laughs> you can't be serious. Look, maybe he won't stall. Can he afford a good lawyer? Mm, not anymore. <laughs> How silly of me to ask. Bye. 